Tina Fey hires Amy Poehler to be her baby mama in Baby Mama. And thanks for watching my review for Baby Mama. Now, Tina Fey and Amy Poehler are known for their hilarious skits in SNL. And there's a few scenes at the beginning of this movie that remind me a little too much of an SNL skit. You know, when they keep a straight face and they're talking back and forth and over-the-top dialogue that really stupid. Yeah, there are a few scenes like that. I'm like, oh, this movie's going to suck. But if you do see this movie, keep in mind that it does get a lot, a heck of a lot better and funnier as it progresses. About the first maybe 15 minutes aren't as good. It's not horrible, but it definitely gets a lot better. Now, it has some great supporting performances from very well-known actors like Greg Kinnear, Sigourney Weaver, Dax Shepard, and the great Steve Martin is actually in this movie. I had no idea until I saw him. It doesn't even look like him. He plays Tina Fey's hippie boss with a ponytail. That's really, really creepy. And he does deliver some really funny scenes. But I gotta say, the funniest stuff in this movie is between Amy Poehler and Tina Fey, because they have some great chemistry. And you know in the trailer, all you see is Amy Poehler drive Tina Fey crazy. That, that, those scenes were really funny, but you, you can tell they're going to become friends. But this movie is a lot more to offer, and it goes a lot farther than it needed to. And I was really impressed with that. I'm not going to give anything away. Just let me tell you, it's not as cliche as you think it is. Um, so, yeah. Her team, Amy Poehler driving Tina Fey crazy was funny, but when they became friends, they had some hilarious conversations together. And even though they were friends, it never became corny. There was a scene where they went out nightclubbing and they got drunk. It was hilarious. And, um, Grey Kinnear and Tina Fey's relationship is believable, and they do have some romantic chemistry, but there's a few scenes where the dialogue was a little off, and I'm like, okay, this is not romantic. <laughs> but it wasn't that bad. I just remember one line where he, she, he looks at her and says, you don't need to be pregnant to have a baby. And they start making out, and I'm like, what the heck? <laughs> yeah, anyway, you can look past that. It's four words, maybe. Okay, more than four words, but it's one freaking line, so look past that. But... Yeah, this, this may not be the most appealing movie, but looks so freaking cliche. Just let me tell you, it is very, very funny at times. I do not know the name of the actor that plays the doorman, but you see him in the trailers. He is hilarious. Him and Amy Poehler have some great um, conversations with each other. All the actors have great chemistry, and I really enjoyed it. I thought it was really funny. I give it an 8 out of 10.